Okay, so it's in the November, and it is time to get these strawberries winterized. We have been getting below some freezing levels and stuff, but um, it's just now getting to stay consistently cold. And so we're going to check out these strawberry plants here, and we're going to get them mulched over and winterized. So, anyhow, as you can see, this here is a very wilty, dried up looking strawberry plant. To do that, you will want to remove all of the wildiness. So, Evie, snip it here, baby. Okay, just right there. That's good. So, just remove all that. And then, like right here, you see um, this one. It's still got some green on it. You still see the plant there. It's still looking okay. But, like, this here is getting all wildy and dead and all that good stuff. So, it's time to um, get them mulched. It's, they're going dormant. So, same with this in here. Like, I've still got some green on this, and but not a lot. This one here is pretty pitiful looking. It's the same as the other. Yeah, snip that one too, baby. Right there is good. Yep, perfect. Oop. Oop. Oh, here, we'll just plant that back. That just got dug right out. <laughs> Crown come right on out. Bare root. Anyhow, with this, when you're doing getting ready to winterize, you want to clean up all the debris and mess out of your strawberry bed as you can see my weeds in here are bigger than my strawberries <laughs> go me but like right here take these weeds out of here this is my ever bearing bed it's the same way to do for your june bearings just clean the bed up like right here this one here i just pulled off some of the dead stuff to it but we're gonna just get this bed here cleaned up make it look nice and ready and then I'll get it covered with some mulch so let's get this here cleaned up all right so for the most part we got her all cleaned up here now it's clean and so we're going to put some mulch on just get it good and covered you need to have airflow through it that way you know you don't smother out your plants so we're gonna you can use leaves and stuff which yeah I cleaned those out of here but I prefer straw so that's what we're getting ready to do cover with some straw but Eva is finding a bunch of earthworms in here, which is awesome because we want them to stay in here because earthworms are super good for our soil. But it's all right. They'll appreciate it. It's like a blanket. They'll go down in the dirt and live all winter long happy. But anyhow, when I do this, you don't... Stop, Eva. You don't want to throw the whole flake on top because... Then it just will smother it out too because it ain't getting no air through because it's compacted in here. But you know, for the most part, I just want to shake the flakes loose in here so it's good and covered and mulchy and nice and thick. You're putting them in the tunnel? Yeah, I'm putting them in the tunnel. No, that's nice of you. Mommy, wait. Don't get too much close to here. Okay, well, I'm going to try not, but I got to get the strawberry bed done. Oh. Anyhow, you get that, you understand. Get them mulched up, it'll be completely covered over, and then I walk away for the winter. It's done sprinkled a little bit on here today, so they done had their final watering. It's up to Mother Nature to take care of all that till spring. So that's it.